Hi, I'm Brooke and in this video we're going to be looking at simplifying fractions. Now in order to do this we need to find the highest common factor of both the numerator and denominator and that's a number that can divide both the top and the bottom. So if we look at this example we've got two eighths of the pizza and I want to simplify this answer. I can see I've got two eighths here and I'm going to find a common factor of both two and eight. So I can divide both the top and the bottom by two. So that would be one quarter. So I can see here that one quarter is equivalent to two eighths. In this example, eight twelfths, I'm going to go through the steps again. I'm going to find a highest common factor of both eight and twelve, which is four, and I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by four. Eight divided by four is two, and twelve divided by four is three. So here I can see that 8 twelfths is equivalent to 2 thirds, and that's it, the answer in its simplest form. At this point, I'd be expecting pupils to apply their knowledge to a worded problem. So in a class of 30, 18 are girls and 12 are boys. What fraction of the class are girls? And we need to simplify our answer. So I can see that I've got 18 out of 30 are girls. So 18 thirtieths are girls, and I want to simplify my answer. So to do that, I'm going to find the highest common factor of 18 and 30, which is 6. And I'm going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 6. We need to remember that what we do to the numerator, we also do to the denominator. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. And 30 divided by 6 is 5. So 3 fifths of the class are girls. And that's how you simplify fractions.